All right, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to play any game in 60 FPS on the Yuzu emulator. Now, I know I made a video, I believe it was like two years ago or a year and a half ago. And this video basically was explaining how to play games 60 FPS on the Yuzu emulator. And back then, for you to play games in 60 FPS on the user emulator, you have to use a mod. As I'm currently recording this video, you do not need that mod. You can use it, but it's really not required. There's other ways you can bypass that to play any game in 60 FPS. But first things first, before you guys do that, you guys will need to head over to your emulation tab and go to configure. And while you're configured, you're gonna go to graphics, and then you will go to advanced. Now, when you go to the advanced um, tab and you go to accuracy level, now what you see here, V-Sync. Now, I think by default it's, it's enabled. Now, if you're trying to play games past 60 FPS or you're trying to increase your 60, um, you're trying to increase your FPS in general when you're playing games, you basically need to it's an uncheck V-Sync due to the fact that V-Sync only caps any game you're playing up to 30 FPS. I repeat, V-Sync only caps any game you're playing up to 30 FPS. It cannot go past 30 FPS all the way to 60 FPS if you have it on. So make sure you turn it off on the emulator. And how you turn it off is basically uh, take out the checkbox check mark and after that you press ok and the next thing you need to do is if you're using this from your nvidia control panel you need to also take out vsync also due to the fact that as you guys may know it's going to cap at 30 fps Alrighty, so i think it's called vertical sync on uh, in the nvidia control panel as you can see it's off now if you guys see it's on or you turn it off just basically do this tab just put it on off and then you go to program settings and go down here make sure it's off on here too you do that you just basically press off and then after you do that you just add it go to use you add the selected program Now usually around here you basically press apply and then you're all set to go but since I really didn't change anything let me try to see if it can pop up right there from here. Yeah you can see just you apply it just wait a couple of seconds then you exit out of that now you can also use the 60 FPS mod, you can download it and use it. And then whatever game you're using, you're gonna left click, put an open mod data location and you place it right there. You can use that, but it is really not required anymore due to the fact that as soon as you boot up a game and while you're playing the game, if you press control plus U, the letter U, while you're playing a game, any game you play automatically goes up to 60 FPS. I repeat, soon as you boot up the game and you press control and U, so you press control first and U or you press them at the same time, while you're playing the game, while the game is booting up, it basically goes up to 60 FPS. Now, I think this feature was added last year, I believe, but I never made a video on it. So that's really crazy. That's how you unlock 60 FPS on a user emulator. You really don't need a, you really don't need the 60 FPS mod anymore due to the fact that as soon as you press control and U, the letter U at the same time or one at a time, the game basically automatically goes to 60 FPS while you're playing it. 
which is pretty crazy. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So do keep in mind on that. That's how you basically play any game in 60, 60 FPS on the usual emulator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe guys are new to the channel. And yeah guys, this is Warbreton. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.